wet this morning, mainly light rain, some heavier rain building into Lake and Sumter counties, but the real stuff comes in around the lunch hour today. We're going to see the chance for some strong to severe storms with strong wind, lightning, heavy rain. The good news is most of that will be out of the picture altogether just in time for that drive home, even for the afternoon bus stop for the most part. This morning, though, light rain, and you know what that means. It allows that oil to rise on the roadways and leads to slick spots. Trooper Steve watching all that very closely. You can see snow wrapping around this system all the way up in Tennessee and then Atlanta heavy rain and then it stretches all the way back through the Gulf of Mexico. So that moisture and energy will be building in here ahead of the front. Then the front moves in a lot of people thinking about the Arnold Palmer Invitational this week. If you're making plans for the end of the week Thursday, much cooler than today. Today mid 70s, but after this front highs only in the 60s heading into the end of the week Thursday and Friday. There's Saturday a high of 70, but dry and sunny. So looking spectacular, but a little cool for the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Now today, here's the rain that's coming down. Light rain where you're seeing the green, the yellows and reds indicating heavier downpours. A lot of that streaming in from the Gulf of Mexico into the Tampa area first. There's some light rain on top of I-4 in downtown Orlando. Bay Lake, though, over to Claremont, you're seeing a little bit more of this heavy rain, about an inch an hour coming down. So let's time it. In 41 minutes, Claremont, you'll have more of that with a chance for a little bit of lightning. And then Groveland within 26 minutes, some heavier rain. 70s right now out the door in most spots or near 70. They told Daytona Beach at 69. We're at 71 in Orlando. But here's a look at the pinpoint accurate forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Lots of cloud cover and rain chances at 70% for the first part of the day. At noon, a 50% coverage by 3 this afternoon. We begin to taper it off for I-4. Areas along I-4 beginning to dry out. And then by 3 o'clock along Brevard County, we could see some lingering showers and storms. Up to 74 today, but look at 6 p.m. Only a 10% chance. Most of it's out of here altogether after 4 o'clock, even for Brevard County. So we cool down quickly tonight with clear skies skies 58 by 10 o'clock. So jackets in order if you're making some evening plans. There's 10 this morning. You can see a couple of lines of rain building in well ahead of the front. There's one this afternoon. Northern zones Marion and Flagler beginning to dry out as the heavy rain is right along I-4 for the lunch hour and then by three bus stop time Brevard. You can see some of the lingering rain even storms, but most of us clearing out by four, five, six o'clock. We are looking good and dry and of course with clear skies temperatures will drop off quickly tonight, but highs today day close to the average in some spots, but a few degrees below the average of 78 will be at 74 in Orlando, 77 in Melbourne. But here's a look at those temperatures as we take you into tonight and you'll see 37 in Ocala, 45 in Orlando, 46 in Melbourne. So cold tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. As we step you through it, you'll see dry conditions after today again this afternoon and evening drying out highs in the 60s for Tuesday and for Wednesday back to 70 Thursday and no this your weekend. St. Patrick's Day. Look at that leprechaun. Just happy doing a jig because it'll be dry and we'll be back to the 80s.